Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Anna. I am from Dudelsack Schule and I would like to introduce to you two very important tools when it comes to reed manipulation. And with that also a very big thank you to Donald from Kids and More who sent me these tools to be able to show you how to be independent when it comes to reed manipulation and yeah, be your own boss, so to say and get the reads to your desired strength and also sound. Um, I think we all know that everybody has reads that are too weak, too strong, too old, too whatnot. And well, do not despair, there's hope. You can always manipulate those reads and get them going again. Now, what are we looking for in a read? From my experience and from my liking, we are looking for a reed that has a good crow, that is not too squeaky and also not too hard that you can't get a sound in the first place. So this is what I am looking for. You hear this nice crow. However, when a reed is too weak, you will get a squeak. And that is possibly too weak for me. So I can change that. And of course, where is it? Hang on. When a reed is too hard, you can't get a sound at all. For example, I'm blowing really hard and these are just too strong for me. So I can alter that as well. Okay, let's start with a reed that is too weak. Okay, when you have a reed that is too weak, you can use this spacey tool. These are razor pliers, basically. They come with a little uh, safety clip so you don't cut yourself. Um, you open these and they look like this. And what you want to do is put your reed in here and just shorten the blades, okay? And what is important when you do that is that you must not put your reed in an angle, it must not be tilted, it must be very straight, like 90 degrees, I hope you can see that, um, to the blades here. And be very care careful not to cut too much. Um, always go slow and little by little, you can always do more, but it's like when you go to the hairdressers, once the hair is off, you can't glue it back on. So I wanna shorten the blades. And with that, I am making the reed a little stronger. Um, now, I hope I can show that to you somehow. I'm, I'm doing that um, off camera in a minute, but should look like this, only like half a millimeter or something. Um, trying to show you like this. And I will then, with a firm and fast cut, I will shorten the blades. And I'm doing that with my rest, right hand. I'm right-handed. Um, I will do that and then come back. Not too much. Make sure it's straight. Takes some time, but it also takes practice. I think I'm ready. One, two, three. There you go. Nice and straight sharp edge. Let's hear the truth. This is the reed that I just cut. And it's still a little weak for me, but I can get to the crow. So if you're a very, very weak blower or you need weak reeds for whatever reason, this might be perfect for you. For me, however, I think I would cut a little more because I am blowing somewhat stronger, but this has already worked. So I have achieved this with this. So if a reed is too weak, do not throw it away. Um, you can always cut the blades. You can also use a chisel and just cut it from straight. But I think this is handier for just make it easy, quick, on the go, so to say. Make sure to close it again so it's safe. Let's come to a reed that is too strong to blow. What you want to do is either scrape in the circle in the middle here, make the wood a little thinner, or you can 
um, rounding the corners, like the shoulders a little. That's what I painted yellow here, or orange. Um, however, that is a fight that has been going on for years in reeds, like is what type of reed is the best, rich cut, molded, whatever, are the corners really necessary? I leave that to you. But what you can do in order to soften the reed and make it a little easier is make the wood thinner wherever you want to do, either in the middle or on the sides, or if nothing helps, just both. And for that, you can use sandpaper or whatever, but more effective would be a knife. This is what Kills and More has um, on, in stock. This is a Stanley knife, which you have to, like it comes with a manual, and uh, unscrew, get the blade and, and so on. And it comes with two blades that you can choose. I would always prefer the first one, as you can see, because the round one, I don't know. I just prefer this one because you can be really precise. So I'm going to show you how to scrape a reed. If you're not too sure how to do this or you're a beginner, just do a little, little scrapies at the beginning. And you see a little comes off, but little by little, everything comes off. Um, make sure to do that on both sides of the reeds, of the reed. Um, or if you're like, if you have to take off a really big amount, you can just use your thumb, oops, use your thumb as guidance and just do like really big scrapes one at a time. Okay, so that's how you scrape the middle. Same for the corners, the edges. I am going to do that on the other reed now and show you the direct difference. Just as a reminder, this is the reed that I'm going to scrape now. <gasps> I can't get a sound out of this. And I am going to start off by scraping in the middle. I don't think that will be enough for me. But as I said, I will go little by little and show you the differences. What I have done is, as I said, I scraped in the middle. Um, I can show you what has come off. Uh, I've scraped off this much and I can show you what that... Is that the right read? Yes. Still very strong for me. I think I will cut the corners a little more and a little more in the body. I have rounded the corners a little bit, as I said, because the body was just not enough for me. So let's see whether that's good now. First, I can get a sound out of this now. And second, I am getting closer to that crow that I am looking for. So those are, were the two ways of manipulating your reed. You can either make a weak reed stronger by shortening the blade with these razor pliers or softening a reed that is too hard by using a knife. Be careful. It must be a sharp knife, um, but please be careful. Don't cut yourselves. You can get these tools at Kills and More. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to test these and be able to, as I said, show you how to become a little more independent in your piping game and manipulating your own reeds. Thank you very much.